July 12, 2013. Hi there. Apparently the local council where I live are gonna start putting people out on patrol to see if they are smoking in works vehicles and sue their arses 200 quid if they catch anyone. Loads of people are furious cause they just see it as the council screwing more money out of them. As if. But I reckon they should spend their time working out why people smoke in the first place. I have my own theory. Nipples. You might smoke, you might chew your pen, bite your nails, smack compulsively even. It all amounts to the same thing in my book. Nipple substitution. Let me explain. When in your life, did you feel the most secure? When were you warm, protected, had a full belly, and were more carefree than a banker blowing his bonus on a fucking whore fest? When you were being breastfed? And before you say it, it's in your genetic memory so even if you weren't given the rest yourself, your innate self still hears the echoes of your caveman ancestors. And now, before you other sick fuckers out there get the idea that it's about some kind of Oedipus complex you wanna take a look at the state of my fucking mother. They wouldn't even have her in German fucking porn and believe me, she's tried. Saying that, I do have an uncontrollable urge to kill my father, but that's more to do with him being a useless piece of shit than him being my fucking love rival. Sorry, I digress. The obvious solution to help people stop smoking or biting their nails or any mouth-related compulsive behavior is to let them suck nipples in public. Why the fuck should babies be allowed to do it but not adults? In fact, we could set up sucking stations in towns and cities across the country manned by people. Men and women, of course, who don't mind having their nipples chewed on by complete strangers. I'm sure there are enough sick fuckers out there who would volunteer for the role so far the cost of nipple creams and breast pads is incredibly cost-effective too.